Well, hi everybody and welcome to a bit of a technical vlog today, following up on some of the other information that we've been discussing about off-grid solar panels, batteries, electrical systems and so on. I thought I'd, well, from the information that um, one of our subscribers, one of you, Steve, sent me um, uh, about Victron uh, solar charge controllers and so on, I thought I'd have a bit more of a look inside <laughs> the box of tricks that is the EC500 um, electrical control unit. You see all this, um, all the fuses are in here for the 12 volt and all the RCDs on here for the 230 volt and it's just held in by four screws inside the cupboard here but um, when it's all laid out you can hold it down here and You've got the 230 volt over this side, and be careful not to touch anything on that side. And then you've got the 12 volt over this side. And I'm also careful not to touch anything over this side because you never know, there could be some high voltage stuff over this side. But I've got my trusty electrical insulated screwdriver. Um, these have served me well uh, for years and years and years. And what I can point to. Uh, if I just pop the camera uh, a bit closer in, give you a bit of a better view. And then we might be able to see what is going on. And I'll point out the things uh, so that you can, you can see now. Uh, it's a black box in here, this, that thing there that I'm touching. And it's, it's about that wide there. Um, that is the solar charge controller that comes built in. Let me just take the camera in a bit closer so you can see that. So, so there's the solar charge controller um, that's on. The, there's a solar regulator circuit on the board that's connected through those cables. And this cable here is the one that comes down from the solar panel. And that uh, also connects. So you've got this red and black wire here that connects into two points on the um, solar panel side of the solar regulator. And you've got these two little wires here that connect onto the battery side of the solar regulator. You've also got um, this bit here is for the uh, onboard battery charger, which is hidden up around that corner there. And uh, if I could just take the camera in there a bit and maybe, maybe it will, uh, you'll be able to see the unit itself. There you go. There it is. So the, uh, charge the battery charger is that box there um, and I'll see if I can get a better a better image of that so that you can see um, a bit more what it's like but it's a, a three-step onboard battery charger so I guess it'll give it a a boost and a float and a I, I don't know a reconditioning I, I don't know how that works so um, I'm going to look up the model of that and see exactly uh, what what that does and whether I can actually replace that with um, a better battery charger um, to go with the uh, with the planned sometime in the future, lithium batteries to give them a bit of a higher push of charge. Because, you know, the lead acid batteries I've got on board at the moment, I think they're, they're dealing quite well with the amount of charge that's going in because they need less of a, um, a, a lower voltage push into them because they're less at lead acid. Um, but the lithium 
batteries that we plan for in the future will need a higher voltage uh, charge to keep them fully topped up. And I think all of this, from, from all of the uh, information that I've read about uh, sergeant control units, is that a lot of this is 1980s technology. So it's not really up to the minute electronics. It's all based on fairly old technology. But I thought you'd, you might like to see that. But one thing's for sure, that charge controller just in there, that can definitely be replaced with a new charge controller that will take the um, push from the solar panel and give out a bit more of a charge. And I'm not, I'm not entirely sure whether I ought to be connecting that onto the circuit board uh, and then back out to the batteries or whether I ought to be just going hmm, straight down to the batteries off the new uh, charge controller and maybe uh, if you know you can uh, tell me about that whether you know whether the um, circuit boards will take that extra push obviously I don't want to break the circuit board that would be an expensive thing so I might phone up uh, Sargent to ask them for their advice on replacing the charge controller and whether their EC500 circuit board will cope with the Victron unit that's been recommended. Anyway, that's it. All a bit techy. Um, so thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to keep continuing to follow our adventures as we travel around the UK and Europe, living full time in our motorhome, subscribe. Just click the subscribe button down below. And if you don't want to miss any of our content, click the bell icon, we'll send you a reminder every time we upload. Thanks again for watching, see you soon, bye bye.